There has been some unpatriotic criticism over the killing of suspected terrorists via drone attacks. Some people are actually whining because several hundred women, children, and bystanders have been killed or wounded under the targeted killing program. Would each of you comment? We tracked Osama bin Laden down and brought him to justice, and I have a very important national security program to continue to hunt down and kill those individuals we suspect. Want to do harm to our great country. I think that the program has been successful by any measure and we will continue with it if I am re-elected. Of course, every American would applaud the killing of terrorists. We need to protect our great country from evil men. And when we engage in targeted killing and drone strikes we are standing on the side of goodness and righteousness. And I just want to say God bless America. And you, sir? The President, and Governor Romney, are careful to support targeted killing, which is a new term they have created. In the old days it would be called an assassination program. Assassination programs have been found to violate both the Constitution and various treaties of international law, including the Geneva Convention. President Obama, and then Governor Romney, how do you respond? When I took office, I swore to protect the people of the United States, and it is simple logic. People in an area of known terrorist activity, or found with a top Qaeda operative, are probably up to no good. Of course, you can raise constitutional objections to targeted killings of individuals we suspect of plotting terrorism. But sometimes you have to ignore the Constitution in order to save it. Bravo and well put. And you, sir. President Obama, when George Zimmerman called the police on Trayvon Martin, a young man you said could have been your son. He told the police dispatcher this guy looks like he's up to no good. And we all know what happened next. Oh no. Oh no he didn't. What you swore to defend and protect was the Constitution. And the Constitution does not permit any elected official, including the President, to be judge, jury and executioner, and Governor Romney what you just said sounds a lot like that general during Vietnam who famously said that sometimes. In order to save a village, you must destroy the village. It might sound good, but it makes no sense. There is no difference between these two on this position. It is not easy to live within the Constitution, but it is necessary to restrain unbridled power. We will see if they can get that sorted out. And in breaking news, we have just learned that Justin Bieber has got a new girlfriend. <laughs>